Welcome to the Cosmic's Inner Space Podcast. I'm Cami K, Inner Space Surfer and Cosmic Creatrix at KamiK.com. Are you ready to launch a business? Expand your cosmic consciousness? Amp your intuition? Or simply celebrate the everyday messiness of being human? Then the Cosmic's Inner Space Podcast is for you. Inside each episode, we'll demystify the mystical and provide practical magic for everyday alchemy. We honor an intuitive and spirited lifestyle that elevates and explores life's multidimensional mysteries. Eavesdrop in on conversations with artists and authors, kick-ass creatives, entrepreneurs, and everyday inner space surfers just like you who are diving deep and glowing up in a whole new world. Stay tuned for inner space best practices and sustainable business tools to help you navigate the new now. Let these stories inspire you to cultivate your curiosity, elevate your mindset, and explore your own cosmic inner space. Let's dive into the show. Welcome, friend. Happy Aries season. It's my birthday week. Friday, April 2nd is my birthday. Woo-woo. So let's do a little tiny win celebration for this being episode number 10 of the podcast. I can't believe we're 10 episodes in. Like, I remember when I just kept talking about this and talking about this and talking about this. So I'm sure my friends and people close to me are excited that it's finally in motion. And I just want to say thank you for being here at this very beginning part of this creative project with me. I really do appreciate you so much. Honestly, I'm over here doing a fair bit of self-reflection being birthday week. Um, So I thought I'd do a little quick personal recap right here before jumping into this week's topic. Um, I don't know about you, but it's been a whirlwind couple of weeks. The energies are super intense. My grandma Grace, my dad's mom, she passed away just after St. Patrick's Day and only a few days after her 98th birthday. So Grace, or Grandma Kobe as we called her, was a feisty, independent, no BS kind of girl. It's safe to say <laughs> that some of my get shit done-ness qualities definitely come from her DNA. So last week I traveled for the very first time since COVID um, to Cleveland to be with family for her funeral and her burial. Um, I'm so glad that I was able to join the family and take some time to celebrate her. Um, I also shared a room with my sister, so we got to spend some quality sister time, obviously under unfortunate circumstances, but it really was lovely. I think everyone has been craving people time and coming together, and it's exactly what my grandma would have wanted. She loved when her family was all together, sharing meals together and laughing and giving each other shit and looking at old pictures and stuff like that. So overall, it was a really lovely way to say farewell to Grace. That being said, there were lots of heightened emotions and anxiety around flying, obviously, and being exposed to a whole lot of people for the first time in over a year. I mean, obviously, I've been going to the grocery store and running some quick short errands here and there over the past year, but I've definitely not been on a plane encapsulated (laughs) flying in the sky with people. Um, So there was definitely anxiety around that. Um, The first flight was amazing. It was incredible. No, no issues at all. Everyone on the plane was great. The staff was great. Um, The way home, a totally different experience, (laughs) but it is what it is, right? We went, we made it. Um, Plus, you know, we were reminiscing with family and looking at old photos and talking about old times and that can just shake stuff up and awaken some sleeping energy and heightened emotions and just things that you had forgotten about or, or hadn't thought about on the regular. So things were definitely stirred up a little bit. Um, and then upon returning this weekend, we had that big old Libra full moon shining its supernatural light, night light on us. And so I don't know about you, but full moons always tend to make me a bit emotional. I get really tired. Um, plus I was, you know, recouping from the flight and all of that. So yeah, definitely feeling all the feels over here. Um, so I got back from Cleveland. I had Friday and the weekend to do laundry and catch up on some personal things. And now I'm prepping to head down to Phoenix, um, in a couple of hours so that tomorrow I can have my annual colonoscopy. Sounds like a wild and crazy person 
pre-birthday celebration, right? Uh, yeah, definitely. Not the same kind of birthday weeks as when we're younger. Um, a bit of background for those who may not know. In 2018, I was finally diagnosed with Crohn's after two years of a massive flare-up. Um, at one point, I had lost 30 pounds in three months. This was after a year of being violently ill. Um, and my body and internal systems just started shutting down on me after not absorbing nutrients for almost two years. Um, so I won't get into the details here because they're pretty gross. But I will record a future episode all about my Crohn's journey. Anyway, due to that, I get colonoscopies annually until further notice to check out the inflammation inside my gut. So prayers up, please. Who knows when you'll be... well when you're listening to this, um, it will be over, but I appreciate the good vibes and good energy that our results are positive and that healing is continuing to happen inside my precious little intestines. On a side note, if you've never had a colonoscopy and it's time for you to get one, um, but you're afraid to, please get yourself scheduled. It's not scary. You're usually under some low-grade twilight type of anesthesia, so you won't remember a thing, which is a good thing, but also kind of creepy. Um, So I'm just sharing all that to say I'm definitely in reflection mode and really just doing and being in my life right now. I'm not really feeling super creative at the moment, um, which is totally okay. (laughs) But then I realized I needed to get an episode of the podcast recorded and out this week um, with everything else going on. Um, But I was grateful that I didn't have to think too hard about what I was going to discuss because fortunately, the day before my grandma passed, I had a full day jam session with my friend Austin. You can find Austin and her genius brain at at Austin's Universe on Instagram. She has an amazing superpower called Second Brain. Um, She's a really good friend of mine too, which it's like a a double win. I I have the most amazing friends with the biggest brains and biggest hearts. Um, So she came up to Prescott for a Second Brain session where we mapped out some really big buckets of areas to focus for my business. And I was able to schedule out podcast episode content for the next two months. So I was grateful that I got to come home and I had that schedule already. So I'll definitely need to do a separate episode with Austin where we talk about all things second braining and I'll be sure to drop her details in the show notes. So I thought it might be fun to take the next few weeks to share a bit of a sneak peek and a preview at what will be covered in Cosmic's Inner Space Camp, which is a small intimate group coaching experience that I will be hosting this June and July. Cosmic's Inner Space Camp is an eight week journey for those who are feeling called to step up and into their next quantum leap. Okay, what does that really mean? Well, 2020 and so far the beginning of 2021 has felt a little bit like Groundhog's Day, right? Um, Once we got through the initial shock of what was happening and learned our new now schedules and routines, it's definitely felt like the pause button was hit for a long time and there's been a lot of rinse and repeat going on. But spring and summer are bringing in new, major, high-voltage shifts, and many people are feeling cagey and ready to bust out and break through their old ways of thinking, their old ways of feeling, and their old ways of being. Plus, it's spring, right? And so it's just a natural, rhythmic part of nature to feel like you want to bloom. So many people are feeling called to step into something new, something unknown, and perhaps something very mysterious but yet something very powerful. And that can be a little disconcerting. Like, how do you do that? So that's the tricky part, right? Because we're not always given all the information at once. Sometimes we get these inklings or intuitive hits or downloads that are more like a trickle than a great big old gushing geyser. So without having a roadmap, without having a step-by-step guide to your next big thing, how do you step up and step out with courage, power, and ease? Well, you go deep and you go inward. And I want to support you in getting to that new now. Thus, the Cosmics Inner Space Camp was born. Um, So if you want to launch a creative project, maybe you want to start a side hustle or launch a business, or you're ready to up level in your current career, or I know some people who are ready to make big, bold moves like move out of state or move out of the country. So... 
If you're ready to embody your highest vibe, your divine mission, your clearest frequency, your quantum consciousness, your authentic voice, your cosmic creativity, experience exquisite self-care and belief in the power of multi-dimensional you, then I got you. Inner Space Camp is for women on the rise and tuned in men any human, any human who wants to tap deeper into their intuition, give birth to their next creative project, and get in touch with their multidimensional self to level up and lead from within. Inner Space Camp format will be online digital downloads and videos and weekly live group Zoom calls. Each camper will also be granted weekly Marco Polo video coaching access to me and a follow-up one-on-one 90-minute power jam session to be used in the four weeks after camp so that you have a bit of time and space to go play in your real life and go a little bit deeper into the content to integrate what comes up for you through the camp experience. So we've also got a handful of juicy bonus guests coming to camp to help support you through the different portals. Um, Tiff and Dylan, my guest from episode number nine, will be our Inner Space Camp Astro Coach, and she's going to kick things off the week before camp with an astro forecast of the interstellar world for the time frame that will be in camp for those eight weeks, so that you'll have added bonus with knowing which lunar and celestial allies will be showing up to support the experience. Whew. There's so much more, and I'll be posting the sales page in the coming week week or two. We'll see how things go so that you can learn more about all of the details. Until then, if you want on the VIP email list um, for when the sign up goes live, just send me a DM on Instagram or email me at cami at camik.com and put inner space camp in the subject box. That way I'll get a list going and can email people directly who are interested in um, when registration goes live. Okay, so week one of camp is my favorite inner space best practice area. It's called Crystallize. This is the week we dive deep and get crystal clear on our core values. So we often hear things like, I value time with my family. I value working with my community. I value education. And that's all well and good, but those aren't core values. A core value is a guidepost. Identifying your core values helps you navigate your way through the world, especially when the waters get wonky, like now. Um, Now more than ever, your values become your compass, your map, and your blueprint. So as you step even more into living as your most authentic, multidimensional you, your values become evident to others. It becomes your new Cosmic's Inner Space operating system. So during week one of Inner Space Camp, we'll identify four core value words and your guideposts for your future navigation through the quantum field and this little old game called life. So think of your value words as four corners of a picture frame. Use those words to frame situations, relationships, business opportunities, friendships, etc etc to help you decide what is working and what isn't working in your life once we place our values around any scenario we open our eyes to the answers that our higher self already knows because your higher self is you and he she they already have access to multi-dimensional you so do you have a scenario that framing your core values could make easier clearer bolder or juicier Well, once we get clear about who we are at our core, we become unstoppable. When we trust the process, when we allow our values to guide us, it becomes smooth sailing versus rough riding. Regardless of your work or line of business, you will become a model for your core values. This is how you embody. Your values will permeate your business, your relationships, your friendships, and your family. You'll start lining up with energies that match your truest, most authentic self. So decisions become way less of a struggle. A struggle. There's less pushing and more magnetizing. Negative relationships will fade out, bad business partnerships will be broken, and toxic family scenarios will be handled. So if you 
think about it, you actually become a walking billboard for your core values. The rest simply won't fit anymore. So people ask, how do you get happy? And how do I live the life of my dreams? Or how do I find more joy? But many people have lost track or never even knew what their core values were underneath the daily grind, drama, gossip, depression, and negative self-talk. This whole COVID experience has definitely shined a light on where we need to align or maybe recalibrate our core values. Once you discover the words that really light you up, which words represent the true you, it becomes easier to plug your whole life into that picture frame and reevaluate, recalibrate, and reinvigorate your vision for the next best version of you. So you find out what words ring true for you at your core, where your heart is, where your cosmic self lives. So we're gonna dig deep, we're gonna get clear, and you need to be brave. But if you invest in yourself and in this program, you'll be asked to dive deep, deeper than you've ever gone before. Um, my core values are truth, beauty, spirit, and love. When I declared those words and worked through the first iteration of this process way back in 2006, my life shifted and changed fast. What wasn't working was amplified and what was working became more effortless. So back then I was in a toxic job, a toxic relationship. <laughs> Actually, it was more like a non-relationship <laughs> and most definitely expressing a lot of toxic behaviors. I won't rehash the gory details of my life in 2006, but there was a lot of binge drinking, promiscuity, and there's no shame in this. We'll talk a lot more about that in a future episode. And unhealthy eating and binge shopping, maxing out credit cards, trying to fill that void with all the things that I didn't really need. Once I dove deep and went inward, I processed through this core values work and I really crystallized my core values. There was a lot of purging of people, things, and ways of being. Instant up levels are guaranteed. Once I had these guideposts to help me navigate my way through stepping into my new now self, it became easier to say yes to opportunities that presented themselves for my higher good and benefit and way easier to say no to shiny objects or cute distractions. You know, clothes, home decor, handsome fellas. My core values still hold true for me, but you could change your guideposts anytime you choose. We're a quickly evolving human species and changes and upgrades are ramping up. So while these words might not work for me in the future, I'm still gracefully guided by truth with a capital T. I seek it and I speak it. Beauty. I create it in all things friendships, artwork, writing, my job, in relationships, in my home, all the things. I'm here to be and create beauty. Spirit, nourish my spirit and the spirit of others. And love, because duh, we is. It's what the fuck we're here for, love. So love is actually like the biggest umbrella core value for me. So that's just a little sneaky peek at Crystallize and what we'll cover in week one of Cosmic's Inner Space Camp this June and July. Again, if you're interested in VIP notification when we launch and go live for registration, just drop me an email at cami at camik.com or DM me on Instagram or Facebook. If you're feeling called into this deeper work, I encourage you to step up. If not now, when? Really, like what other wonky, wacky external things are you waiting for to dictate how you move forward into your future? It, isn't it time to take a bold leap, to be brave and to go on an adventure? I'm honored to be your partner in this deep inner space world and to help you excavate your own buried treasures. Mm. Let's fucking do this. Whew, recording this has totally shifted my energy. <laughs> I hope you feel the same. These are the activations and up levels that can happen when you start exploring your own cosmic inner space. And there's limited spaces available for this program this summer. I can't wait to see you there. Thank you so much for sharing your time and space with me today and for tuning in. 
If you enjoyed this episode of the Cosmic Inner Space Podcast, please leave a review on Apple Podcasts or share this episode with a friend. Shout out to our amazing sound editor and producer extraordinaire, Brendan Shanahan. The Cosmic Inner Space Podcast is proudly produced by the Podcast Pro Shop at podcastproshop.com. I'd love to stay connected with you. I'm at K D O T C O M on Instagram and Facebook, and I share a lot more Cosmix goodness on Instagram stories. And of course, we can always stay connected via the Cosmix Inner Space Mothership over on the blog at KamiK.com, where you can find ways to work with me, stay tuned for new art and inner space support in the KK shop, and subscribe to the Cosmix e-news to stay updated for future programs and on-demand course drops. Okay, friend, until next time, I'm sending you stardust and so much 